my presentation today is about the uh, Joomla Marketing Working Group. Who is in there? Just some pictures. I'm in there, of course, I'm team lead. We got Cliff Pfeiffer, he's one of our brainstormers and specialist in UX. We got Elisa, she's design lead, part, running communications, and even more, George. You don't resemble at the pictures, George. Come on. <laughs> so, George is PLT, uh, liaison. We got Ruth Cheesley. She's CLT liaison. And Joe Sonny, he's OSM. Okay, so within marketing, we try to work with a certain culture code. If you want to read the complete culture code, just ping me afterwards and I'll give you the link to it. But this one, you will love this one because it's the really short version. Talent win, wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. That's from Michael Jordan, probably known by all. If not, look for Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan, and you'll find it. It's, we all have our own talent. And it's really important to have our talents, but it's when we combine them as a team and make that work in an intelligent way as well, that we can make a winning team and we can win or we can overcome any obstacle that we see. Team values is one of the things within marketing that we like to hold on to. Some of the most important ones are accountability. Me, as a team leader, I'm accountable for everything that the marketing working group does. So if something goes wrong, it's me. Positivity, we always have to stay positive, even if it's really hard. And sometimes it's really hard to stay positive, but at that point just Shut down your computer, shut down social networks or whatever, relax, and the day afterwards you'll be able to look at it as a positive way. Reliability, clarity, diversity. We are a global community. Diversity is very important for us. We have several cultures we have to take into account, so never forget diversity. Graciousness. Say thank you once in a while. It won't hurt you, and it certainly won't hurt the people that you say thank you to. Integrity, supportive, authenticity, and empathy. Those are the team values that we keep high in the marketing team. So if you already want to contribute a bit because of those team values, etc. This is how you can do it. Let's have a talk. So find me, find Cliff, find Elisa, find Ruth. No, not George. Um, find, find any one of us. Find any one of us and let's have a talk and we see how we can contribute. We are always looking for creative minds, for design wizards or designers, for DRLs and brainstormers, for scripters, for anything you think of, we are looking for it. And if it's not, if you, if you get a special talent which doesn't fit into the marketing, we'll forward you to somebody else like from PLT or CLT or uh, Trademark or whatever, uh, where you really at your place and really good at. How do we work? It's, let's see, mid 2015, uh, end 2015 maybe, when I became lead of the, uh, mid 2015, when Jess said she was no longer team lead, uh, Jessica Dunbar. Um, so we've always 
works in, in a transparent way and having a lot of discussions, etc. But the way we work changes. It's time changes, marketing changes, and so we need to change as well as a team. Does anyone know IDEMA? You do, you do, of course. <laughs> so IDEMA is, is a kind of workflow um, that we're going to follow within marketing. It's based on several IDs. And it's, if, if you type in IDEMA workflow or IDEMA marketing, you'll find a lot of information about it. It's actually a kind of a non-stop workflow. We first start, uh, as usual, with ID. So if somebody comes up with an ID, we have to capture that ID and see whether it's maintainable and, and stuff like that as well. After the ID comes in, we're going to discover. Let's see, like, okay, we got an ID, what can we do with that ID? And how are we going to plan to sustain it? Afterwards, we're going to execute and maintain it. So execution is actually going forward with the original ID, form a project group or a group, work on it, launch it, and afterwards, of course, maintain it. And then afterwards, and that's something we haven't done quite a lot in the past, but it's really important, it's to audit it. See whether the ID actually works, see whether the project that we set up actually works. And after the audit, we go back to either the I or the D from we see what went good and what went wrong, change it, and we start the whole workflow again. So this is actually the workflow that we're going to, to work with um, from yeah, now on. We've been implementing it, in, excuse me, implementing it for uh, a few weeks already, and um, it will stay or it will grow that way. We are all mighty Juma. We are all together in it. It's all our passion, it's all our project. We are a community. But what if something goes wrong? Who do you blame? You. <laughs> <laughs> blame us. We got no problem with if something goes wrong that people tell us, like, look, this is really, really wrong, this is bad, this communication doesn't show what we really mean. I got no problem with people telling us as long as we stay communicating. If you just say this is wrong, full stop and nothing else, I'm sorry, I can't help you. If you say this is wrong because of this, this and this and let's see how, you, how we can make it better, good. Then you can blame us because then we can communicate about it and we can see how we make it better. So together, if you see it at the uh, puzzle pieces, there's one missing, the blue one. Others then got all the colors from the Joomla logo. Fit in the blue piece and we'll make it fit together and we'll learn from it. So 2016, what's going on? First, it's been a while that we're working on it and we had a start earlier last year um, but because of several reasons that person or that team lead dropped out um, but we're going to reinstate Joomla public relations. What is public relations? We're going to write press releases, we're going to follow them up, we're going to send them to news wires, to newspapers, to magazines and make sure that we're back into the daily press, into the monthly press, into the magazines. Because that's something we haven't done well lately. Um, the first start on, on the press releases was with the 3.5 release. We had an uh, external PR company who actually helped us out. We learned a lot from it. Some points were good, some points were not as good. Uh, we spent some budget on it, 
but we learn from it and all those knowledge and all those experiences we're taking with us for the next team. We are having, at this point, we're having about three people applying for the public relations team. Um, if you feel like, hey, look, I'm, I'm a really good copywriter, I know some guys within press, I have experience with, with press releases, please tell us. We're always looking to have extra people. At this point, the three people are based within the EU, so we're still looking for people within Asia, within US, and kind of, we want a global network of, of people for press and for public relations. Next, shop.joomla.org. <laughs> no? Yes. <laughs> um, it's nearly finished. Um, new merchandising, new ideas, new design. It's a complete rebrand. I don't know if you recall the shop for earlier, the version before it was a Spreadshirt shop. We had some issues with it like quality, shipping costs, and costs of, of the t-shirts and the merchandise itself. So we completely rebranding it. Um, it's also, it used to be on its own, it's now merging into another Juma install, so that we can actually, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, thanks to Rowan, of course. <laughs> Run, Rowan. Um, so that we have to maintain one more install. Um, if you want to hear the full story about how many installs we have with Joomla and how to maintain them, <laughs> grab a couple of bottles of wine and let's sit down. <laughs> Good, boot rental. Booth rental? Okay. I always stay now. Um, it's not here, unfortunately. It's at my house. Uh, <laughs> It was a bit too heavy to take on the plane with falling. <clears throat> they would charge me a whole lot for it. Uh, but we have a Joomla booth and you can rent it. Well, not at this point, but it will come soon. And what's the purpose of it? Let's say that you as a business owner or a Joomla community or a jug want to go to an uh, exhibition. You can rent it and pimp up your stats. Does it cost any money? No. Well. Kind of, no. We're not charging for the rental itself. We're charging partly the shipping costs. Partly it will come from the budgets of the marketing team. But we do ask for um, a guarantee or warranty because it's a pretty expensive boot. So if something goes wrong with it at the exhibition, uh, we're not talking about shipping because that will be covered by the coverage of, of the shipper. Um, but if something goes wrong, we need to fix it and that might cost a little money. So every time a booth travels from one point to another, it will be checked. It will be if everything is okay. If not, well, if everything is okay, you get the warranty back. If not, we'll discuss and see how we can fix it. Um, so, but. This is new. Um, if you look for, I think it was Joomla Day Florida. We got a few pictures with the booth. Um, Joomla Day Netherlands, Joomla Day UK as well. So just have a look at those Joomla Days and you will see the design. The design was actually made by Gavin Hookman um, for a project which was called Grace Hopper in 2014. If I'm not mistaken. Um, we reused his original um, design, made it a bit different because the sizes were didn't fit at all. Um, but it's a really nice design. It's really nice eye, eye catcher. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, Mike, you will have the boot with you at HostCon as well, uh, July. Okay, but PHP South East Southwest, Southwest. Um, it's here in the UK. It will go there as well. So, Kiara, are you here? 
this, this one is dedicated to you. <laughs> a few years ago, the idea of a mascot was suggested by Kiara. Uh, Kiara was our brand manager, lead designer for a long, long time. And we're still working with her graphics. Uh, thank you very much for everything you've done for us and still doing for us. Um, so we're actually going to create a, a juvenile mascot. It's going to be launched pretty soon, as soon as we have some, uh, we have to exchange some information with OSM about uh, the trademark and stuff like that on the mascot. But as soon as that's all figured out, we're going to launch a call and you can submit as many suggestions if you want. Elisa wrote a brief. There you are. Um, it's pretty clear. Um, we're not asking for much, but we're asking for creativity, for, for the Juma passion within the mascot. Now this one might be a bit tricky. Yay, I want a phone. Okay. Uh, this one is a bit tricky. Better communication. Um, within the past and even within the present, we do have some issues with communication within the global community. Um, we're not pointing fingers at, at anyone or but it's just, it's normal. We got a huge community. We got several teams. And it might happen sometimes that communication gets lost in between those teams, in between people. So we have to work on that. And we're going to try, as the marketing working group, we're going to try and push that forward. Better communication, up, down, sideways, diagonal, whatever you want. We need to communicate better as a whole in the project. non Joomla events. You all know Joomla events. Joomla Days, Chucks, JWC, JM Beyond. We've been focusing within, with our marketing and within the community, we've been focusing always too much on inside our own community. We have to get our name out. We have to get Joomla towards people who are not part of the community. We have to visit non-Joomla events. Like we have Grace Hopper, for example, like we have BETT, like we have HostCon, like we have PHP, South, East, West, <laughs> thank you. Um, we have to get Joomla out there to people and show that we're not the same Joomla as a couple of years ago, because a lot of people still think Juma is the same as when we had version 1.5. You do? No, no but uh, what, <laughs> what, what would you perceive uh, people would think of Juma when you talk about the comparison? Yeah. Are you what, was, what would be your view of the opinion of people? How would they have perceived Juma in the past? And what is the difference that you... <sighs> you ever worked with 1.5? Yes. The migration to 2.5? Oh, yes. <laughs> Explain more? <laughs> no. Um, it's not only they thought they have about Juma. A lot of people don't actually know Juma at all. They know WordPress. They know Drupal. Why? Because they're always around. WordPress is being taught in schools, in, in universities, as like within a marketing uh, education. It's like, okay, guys, you have to make a, uh, a site use WordPress. Going to, to more IT, likewise education, it's like, well, let's build web, PHP, MySQL, use Drupal. Where's Juma? <coughs> we have some exceptions. Um, I don't know if Roland is around. No? Okay. Roland is actually teaching Joomla at university level in the Netherlands. I can't remember the name of the university. Um, but he's one of you, one of the few. We did have uh, an outreach to uh, educational institutes with uh, Tessa Mero, and, and I have to talk to her about what's the status of the team. Because next to Joomla events, it's also very important to catch people young 
and to learn to work with Juma. What better way to do that by the educational institutes? The brand manual, also a project here was started. It was never finished as a whole, but we're going to do that this year. And how are we going to do it? You can already consult it as a PDF right now, but we're going to change, well, we're going to merge the PDF into an actual website. And it will be, land, it will be merged into joomla.org, into the main domain. Um, we're going to, to have all the communication ready when it's done. It might take a while because it's a lot of information. Uh, and we want to make sure everything is okay. So um, that's one of the things. Yeah, and so much more. We had a marketing sprint yesterday. Um, the educational outreach was one of it. Um, the brand manual came onto the agenda as well. Uh, media kit, press releases, um, the vision and the mission of how we should go towards the outer markets of Joomla and, and stuff like that. So there's a whole lot going on. Um, Cliff is also running a UX team and, and stuff like that. So we're getting a lot of feedback from UX as well and we're trying to see whether we can put our marketing messages together with UX and see on how we can communicate it. Um, he sent me a, a copy two weeks ago and the first thing I said to him was like, dude, really? You made my to-do list grow exponentially. So, but we still need your IDs as well. If you have an ID and you would like to share it with us, please do. We're open for all IDs, we're open for all suggestions as long as nobody has to run bare naked over their lawn. It's okay for me. Um, share it with us, make it work with us. If you share with us and you're willing to cooperate as well, that's great. If you just want to share it with us, that's great as well. But we do like, if you share it, that you kind of get involved as well. So, hmm. as I said, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find us on the volunteer portal. There's actually, if you go to working groups marketing um, and you click on the tab, get involved, you see a whole lot of, of positions or yeah, open positions that we're looking for. Uh, designers, copywriters, um, all the, the fun things, video editors uh, and stuff like that. So, or contact us directly at marketing at joomla.org or, and that's my favorite actually, uh, tap on our shoulder and bring beer and coffee and we can have a good long talk. Oh, I went really fast this time. <laughs> normally, you talk about good things. Yeah, no, normally this takes me about uh, 45 minutes, but uh, okay. Um, good. So before we, we end up the, the conversation, um, Who's been involved in marketing lately? Okay. You mean Who? Project or project? Just general. General. Oh, okay. General. Good. <laughs> Who wants to contribute to the marketing working group? <laughs> Sorry, you already do. <laughs> no, raise your hands again. George. <laughs> Really? Uh, no. Well, just come and, and give the details, or give us your details. Just tell us what, like, what you want to do. And Is there a make it happen session? Yes. yes. Thank you. Tomorrow there will be a make it happen session. Um, 
well, we'll complete the full, make it happen, actually. Uh, we got a full track, we got about seven points we want to tackle over here. And if you want to join in, please do. We got some designs that need to be done, we got some copywriting, we got some. Cliff, help me out. Sorry? Use cases. We got lots to do. Yeah. We really got, we really got a lot to do. <laughs> Um, and next to that, we're going to wean state. We, we usually had, or until last year, beginning of last year, um, we had a monthly meeting with everybody who wanted to contribute to marketing. That's something that we're going to wean state um, to get people back involved into marketing. It's been, I know it's been quiet lately, um, but we're going to turn the wheel around and make it work again. Um, it's like it says, together we are the beating heart of the community. Whether you're contributing to, to marketing, whether you're contributing to PLT, to CLT, to, to trademark, to sponsors, to whatever team you're in. <coughs> if we don't work together, if, if we're not beating, if you don't have the beating heart together, then we can't make it work. So, together we are the beating heart of the community. And let's make that count. <laughs> if you have any more questions, these are my contact details directly, or use the general marketing one. Um, if you have any questions now, or suggestions, or comments, shoot, I got 20 minutes left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, talking about outreach, yeah. uh, I'm an entrepreneur and only part-time programmer. Yeah. And when I first started looking for solutions for what I was trying to develop, June came up with the answer. Uh, but because I don't want to be a full-time developer, I'm mm -hmm. looking, looking for developers to do the end stuff. Yep. And I had pretty much the experience you talked about earlier. It's WordPress, not so much Joomla, but WordPress for custom design. Yep. And if I raised Joomla, because I could see it could actually do with what I wanted, the answer was that they were, I wouldn't say negative, but definitely not enthusiastic. Okay. Uh, how do you see changing that? Obviously, you talk about getting into uh, school. Yeah. Well, it's <coughs> partly it's uh, outreach to education. Sorry. If we, if we teach them young and we teach them the good way or we communicate it the good way, it's part done by outreach to education. But the negative or the criticism, we can't overcome them only by outreach to education. We have to market our products, our CMS, differently as well. And that's why we have um, really great input from UHC. Um, they have given us a lot of good ideas, They've given us a lot of good um, yeah, ideas and, and, and comments uh, on how we actually have to rethink our current marketing and ch change the way we communicate to, to, to complete our worlds, so not just within the community, but to everybody outside the community. To have Joomla as a name, as a brand, back on track and make it known again. And as soon as you start doing that, and as soon as long as you keep your communication positive, and you can't convert them, all the critics, all the critics, you can't convert them just at once. You have to do it one by one. And so, by changing our communication, we will, or at least we hope, and we're going to measure that. We hope that the criticism, or at least some of the critics, will turn around. And look at it positive. How, how are you planning on measuring? That's something we still have to discuss, um, and it's going to be discussed as soon as we got our actual plan together on how are we going to communicate, <coughs> which media are we going to use, which messages are we going to use. So the measurement it will happen, um, but it depends on which channels we're going to use. As well, for example, communication I mentioned. Um, let's go back to the release of 3.5. We had 
had a public relations team, uh, well, we had a public relations firm actually helping us out. They gave us a plan uh, for social posts, like this day you have to watch this and this, and all including, including the, the messages. Um, we pushed it forward to a social team who was responsible for, for our social media channels. And there was a little discussion about, like, well, it's not really correct message. We, we have to change it a bit. Um, why are we doing this and not that? Um, so that's one of the points that we learned from. And that's one of the things that we're going to change as well. If we're going to do a social campaign, we're going to consult the front with the social team and say, like, OK, look, this is actually what we want to uh, send out to the world. What's your input? Do we need to change something? What would be the best plan of, of dates to, to push everything out? So it's going to be together with the social media team. Um, and that's one of the big changes. So are we going to measure it afterwards? Also together with the social media team, we're going to look at the stats if it's purely social media. If you're pushing out press releases, it's different. You have to go to newspapers, to magazines, see whether who picked it up. Blog posts on, let's say, CMS Warrior or CMS Critic. Did they post anything? How was it? How was it done? What are the comments on it? So it's not just like pushing one button and get every result of it of the measurement. It needs a lot of time. It needs it needs a lot of involvement into uh, everything to, to measure it. Have you, have you done any research? Up to date on perceptions? Yeah. yeah. Maybe you see the G135 surveys, G1 user surveys that are on Twitter and all that. Yeah, but that's, that's user surveys, I'm more interested in the, the non user surveys. Yeah, well, that's, that's, the, that's the question we're trying to answer is how do we reach non users? Yeah. You know, that's, that's a difficult question to answer, but we do want to do that. If you want to expand outside the human community, you have to yeah. find out what the, the non human community is. Yeah, and that's, um, we're kind of just getting started with the research, but that is part of the plan. We haven't quite gotten We don't know how to reach out to people who don't use Joomla to get them to take a Joomla survey. Yeah. Uh, social media is going yeah. to the ones who are following you already. That's yeah. Well, yeah, all, all of our users, our social media accounts are all Joomla users. Mm -hmm. There aren't many non Joomla users that follow Joomla. I mean, why would they? <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a tough, it's a tough question to answer, but we plan to. Yeah. Think about startups. Uh, a few, yeah, startups is yeah. a bit. A few years ago, um, I think it was in the Netherlands um, or Germany. I, I can't remember. Um, I had a discussion with uh, Paul Orwick. I don't know if you you still remember him. Um, but we were talking as well to let's go for for non dual users. How can we reach them? And we were talking. You ever heard of guerrilla marketing? So it's part guerrilla marketing, part non guerrilla marketing. We were going to buy ad space at WordPress and Drupal and put a banner on there <laughs> to get people to Juma and see. Let's. I think the message was something like, um, "You really want to use a friendly system? Take our survey or something, um, and then." forward them to Juma. It was a wild ID, wild ID back then. It never got actually, we never done it, but the ID was there. So it's not about, as Cliff said, we're, we're starting with the outreach um, now. So we don't have a complete plan fixed yet. Uh, we just had our sprint yesterday. Uh, I think the meeting notes are about 10, 11 pages long. Um, they will be published pretty soon. You can, they're, they're public, so you can look at it. If you feel like, hey guys, you're missing something on, on this part, please tell us. Uh, we're not perfect, we're all humans. Um, we're a community, we, we live across the complete uh, world. Cliff is from the US, Park is from <coughs> India, I'm from Belgium, Lisa is from Germany, Ruth is from the UK, George as well, and Joe is from Canada. It's yesterday was a really good day because we we're all sat together and that's a lot easier to discuss things and stuff like that than we have to do over clip or Skype or, or any online meeting. So we're re relaunching actually the complete marketing and feel free to, to look at a document from yesterday 
to comment on it and uh, <coughs> to give your input as well. But startups is indeed a really good uh, point. Thank you. Yeah, we, we honestly we don't know how we're going to reach out. So, I, so if anybody has any ideas that would like to help us do that, please, please help us. If you have any ideas we want, we want to hear them for sure. Any more questions or comments or, yeah? How about localization? Sorry? Localization. Yeah. Of the message or not, not only translation, but localization. Is that uh, planned or? If we got enough volunteers, yes, please. Yeah. It would be it would be perfect if Sorry, we would have. You have the Joomla user group. Those are really important pieces yeah. of the Joomla community. That they work in local in specific places. They know the the market over there. The problem is that the community we cannot always reach them. That's the problem we had many many years. So we don't know what's going on. We organize their own conferences. We cannot. We, would, we may send some. Some. I mean, we may send some survey question to know what the market over there is asking. But you know, many times, uh, like we need to be there, or we have somebody that's reporting back to the big community, to the leadership. Yeah. It's not happening. I don't know what's happening now. It's Sometimes at this point no, but we're working on a system kind of wise that it will be possible within the near future. The, there is a localization. The problem is that probably there is no communication between the groups that are in, know, the, in the town <laughs> and true. what happened with the community, so the leadership part. So it's like the two the sure. things go to different places, mm -hmm. different that's directions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yeah. So okay. If there's a, a system plan for that, there will be. Yeah. Would be I think there, there are the resources. The problem is to connect them in a way that it's not really going along and it was actually my, my question was going that way because uh, I run a jack, uh, we run Juna Days here, mm -hmm. and all that is unconnected almost yep. from the, from the, the, the rest. Yeah. So it would be great, uh, we have the resources. Uh, it would be good to have the, the main uh, Joomla staff, uh, the marketing with the officials, so yep. official, uh, translated and even relocated. But it would be great to have also that the possibility to, to exchange or, or at least yeah. give what a report. The first, the first step um, will be that we start communicating towards Jux, for example, on, on localization especially. Like, hey guys, we, we need your input on this, um, or we need your feedback on this, or can you help us out with this? And if the Jux is willing to cooperate, and give the feedback back, that's fine. Perfect world would be that we have a global system where we just like push things on, you get automated notification, if you want to help, you just do it and stuff like that. Would be the perfect world and yeah. please do. Uh, but we'll start step by step. So we, we tried to do it in the past, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. We're going to redo it and hope and fulfill and maybe even be a little bit pushy at some points, but we, tr we will try to make it work again and, and keep it working. It, so. it would be great if, if there was something like uh, uh, my brother uh, this week told me he has a local uh, business. Um, a guy, a, a client, uh, told him that he's a good suite ambassador. This guy does, I don't know what he does for a living, but he happens to be a good suite ambassador, and he asked if he could use his business for providing a talk about good suite, open for all local businesses from the neighborhood. It looked that, like they have some um, generic material for people to do that. It would, uh, that's that would be great, uh, having something previewed that you, people okay. just uh, download and... I'm, go I'm going to give you a little preview before the notes are online. A media kit with all Joomla material is coming. <coughs> There's coming a uh, sponsor brochure for all Jugs and Joomla days, white labeled. 
Just add your logo, your prices, your location, your dates, and you're set. There's coming a general Joomla brochure as well, uh, digitalized, of course. So you still have to print it yourself or just import the PDF into your website and make it look nice and fancy. So we're really working on that as well as uh, marketing materials like uh, 3.6 is coming within a few weeks. Um, we're going to try and make the imagery available or at least the teaser imagery available before the launch. We missed the ball on 3.5 on that one and I completely agree that was our fault. Uh, the imagery was available too late. It was on the date of the launch while it should have been earlier. So people who were writing blogs about it already should have got access to it. So we're learning from our mistakes as well and we're working on it. Um, but it's, it's, it's a huge I know, I know. organization. It's worldwide, you have to take <coughs> into account a lot of cultures, a lot of people. Um, it's huge, but I still love it, so. <laughs> Any other questions? <coughs> no? Okay. I have a question. Is, is there any team people dedicated to go through forum, forums or Quora or any of this kind of For, forum dot .org? No, no, oh. forums, uh, general development forums or CMS forums. Because I found out that there's not really people defending or um, advocating for Joomla in those forums. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, ex external forums, you mean, and, okay. Um, no, at this point, no. You're willing, you're willing to contribute? I am actually am the most read uh, user in Quora about yeah. Joomla. Okay. I'm not, not really a contributor. Yeah. That's what I told them. They find out that there's a lot of people that is adapting or mm -hmm. using Joomla or WordPress and Drupal, and, and they want arguments about that. Okay. So maybe a good idea to team up and yeah. do something. Sounds good. Sorry? Does Joomla have a Reddit page? There is a group. There is a group, yeah. Um, there's one page at um, Joomla.org where you have an overview of all our social accounts. Uh, Pinterest is in there as well. Um, I have to look it up. I can't say it by heart. Uh, we, we noticed yesterday that we're missing out on some social networks, especially some more local networks, but we're going to work on that as well. <coughs> okay. And if anybody wants to have a Juma sticker. <laughs> no, you can't, George. You can't have any stickers. <laughs> no, just come and get one. Uh, and thank you very much for attending. <laughs>